Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make free website for video editing portfolio. The platform that I recommend you use is Wix. The reason why you are going to be using Wix website builder to create your video editing portfolio is it is beginner friendly, easy to use, and also they provide you with templates that allows you to create a professional looking website. So I want you to go onto Wix.com and you are going to sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, you are going to tap on Bill with Wix Editor. After selecting Bill with Wix Editor, you are going to tap on Set Up Without Chat. Then from here, we are just going to type in Video Editing, so you can do that right there. And you can see Video Editing Services, Video Portfolio, you can see the different sub-niches that you can go into. And for example sake, I will go into, I will select video portfolio. So let me do that real quick. So I'll type in video portfolio right here. And I'm just going to be selecting this one right here, video editor portfolio. And you'll tap on continue. After selecting continue, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. On your dashboard, you're going to give your website a name. So for example, I will call mine Simple Answers. So you can type in your website name right there, then select continue. From here, you can choose the apps that you would like to add onto your website. So for sure, we're going to be displaying our portfolio. So you'll select portfolio and you can also add the video app. With this app, you'll be able to share, stream and sell your videos if you want. And if it is a case that you would like to also write blog articles, you could select blog. And if it is a case that you wanted to stream or sell songs, you could select music right there. And you can scroll down and you can also see other apps that you can add. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue. After selecting continue, you're going to tap on continue to that dashboard. On your dashboard, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select video library. After selecting video library, from here you can upload your videos. So you can either upload your video from your computer, Dropbox or Google Drive. So let's say for example, I were to upload a video from my computer. So I'm just going to be selecting one of these videos. So let's say for example, say this video right here. You're going to tap on open. After you have done that from here, you can see it is free at the moment. If it was a case that you would like to sell videos, you'll tap on edit video right there. After tapping on edit video, you can upload your thumbnail by tapping on change cover. You can add the video title. You can also add the publisher's name. You could put them into category, tags and description and so on. Keep in mind if you were to go onto the paid plan right here where you'll be able to charge a fee, you will need to go on the paid plan also on Wix. But if you just want it to be displayed, a display of your work or so on, and you just want to collect some leads, you can leave it on the free plan. So you can leave it right there and you can choose the what viewers can do, anyone can watch or they'll need to sign up. You can select that. You can also choose whether you like to allow them to download it or not. So you can see the different options right there. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner to save the changes. After your video has been uploaded, if it is a case that you like the live stream, you can also do that. And to display the rest of your work, you could select portfolio from the left hand menu option. After selecting portfolio from here, you could tap on set up without AI. Once you have selected set up without AI, you can tap on add project in the top right hand corner. You can give your project a name. Then you could add in the description, basic info, and then you can upload the media. So this is where you'll be able to display even further your portfolio. Once you have done that, you're going to tap on set up in the top left hand corner. Then you're going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner. After selecting design site, I want you to select pick a template. From here, you can choose from any one of these templates. And this is what I was talking about at the start of the video. With these templates, you'll be able to create a professional looking website in no time. Normally, I would choose one of the best matches. So I'm going to tap on edit. 
If it is a case that you like to use Wix AI to compose articles for you, you could tap in the box right here and you could give them some information, then tap on generate site text. Normally I would close the pop-up, tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. And at the moment, this is how our website looks. To start making changes, you can hover over, for example, the name or logo in the header section, and you could select edit text. Then from there, I'm just going to be changing it to simple answers so you can see how easy it is to do. If you would like to change the icon, you could tap on the icon button, tap on change image, and you could change it. Then going down, if we would like to change the video that is being displayed, you can select right here and you could tap on manage videos and you could choose another video. You can also change the background if you want. So you can select right here, the entire page. Then you could tap on the pencil icon, which says quick edit. Then you will see the option section background on the right hand column. You could change the background. It is quite easy to edit. And you can also see a button that is redirecting persons to all of our videos. And by scrolling down, you'll be able to edit the information that is currently there. By tapping on the paragraph section, you can change that. You can change the text section also. And if it is a case that you would like to add an element that you don't see, so let's say, for example, you like to add a photo right here, you could go over to the left-hand menu option, tap on Add Elements, then from there, you'll be able to access all of the elements. So for example, we could hover over image, then you could tap on upload and import, and you could upload an image from your device. But let's say for example sake, I were to just drag and place an image. Let's say for example, say this image, I could drag and place the image right here, as you can see. After adding the image, you could also minimize or you can enlarge in the size as you can see right there. It is as easy as that. And by scrolling down, you can continue editing your website. Keep in mind to view all of the pages that are currently on your website. You will tap on pages and menu, which is the third icon from the top left hand corner. From here, you can see all of the pages. If you would like to add a new page, you can tap on add page. Then you can see the different type of pages that you can add. You can add services page, about page, project page, and so on. You can also create a blank page. But I don't think you'll need to create a new page as all of the information that you would need is currently on your website. You just need to edit it. So you can scroll down and you can just make the changes real quick. And keep in mind, if you would like to add a payment method, so if you would like to, for example, offer your services, you can tap on the plus in the top left hand corner once more, hover over a button, then you could select PayPal buttons. And from there, you could add your PayPal button. And then you can set up your PayPal information by tapping on add PayPal info. You could put in your PayPal email address. You could name the product, which would be your service, add your price. And then from there, customers will be able to book your service through PayPal. So you could do that also if you want. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner. After selecting publish, you can see our website is now live. If we were to tap on view site, this is how our website looks at the moment, as you can see right here. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.